Welcome back to the ITU headquarters here in Geneva, which is of course hosting the AI for Good Global Summit. This is of course day two, a lot of speeches taking place, and I'm joined by a guest who just gave one, none other than Brian Witten, who's Senior Director of Semantic Research Labs. You may not know them, but they're actually the biggest cyber security platform on the web anywhere. Is that a fair thing to say? Uh, yes, we're the world leader in cybersecurity. So what brings you somewhere like here? Fishing for business or? Oh, no, no, not at all. Um, uh, so the summit here, Artificial Intelligence for Good, uh, we think is uh, great to be highlighting how artificial intelligence is being used to, uh, to uh, help people in lots of ways. So we've been using artificial intelligence since 2004 uh, to protect hundreds of millions of people uh, around the world. Uh, we use it in our managed security services. We use it in our endpoint security product. We've even been doing research, uh, sort of pushing the limits on what artificial intelligence can do in general. So g give me examples of how it helps people, what you do. Sure, so uh, we currently process two trillion security events per month on the back end. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, I don't know of a, any company that has a budget to hire two trillion security experts. Uh, so you've got to codify the, uh, the expert knowledge into uh, uh, virtual analysts, um, uh, artificial intelligence to really scale across all of that data. And um, since you are leaders in your field, why would you be here? Because you, you obviously have your AI experience. Uh, well, we think it's important for people as they start formulating policy uh, around artificial intelligence to factor in uh, both risks and concerns and the real merits of some of these very, very powerful technologies. There's a lot of talk about having to regulate, and you're on the defense side as well as the civil side. Do, uh, do, you, do you agree with that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an engineer, uh, so I try to stay out of the regulatory uh, discussions. I think there are a lot of instruments uh, that could be used uh, to uh, ensure that AI is used only for good and, and not for ill. Uh, but at the same time, there are a lot of attackers out there that are going to use AI regardless of what the rules are. And so we need to uh, uh, be able to stay ahead of them in the arms race, uh, you know, uh, keeping our AI better than their AI. And do you manage that? Uh, I, I lead the long-term research uh, for that. It's very fun to also work with the team that is, uh, while I'm doing the long-term research, uh, that's focused on uh, you know, year-long and longer research efforts uh, work at the same time. I have good friends that are in the uh, 24 by 7, 365, finding, fighting, and catching bad guys uh, division of the company called STAR, our security technology and response team. So, at the end of these three days, what would you like to come out of this? What would you like Dennis to come away from this, from what you've said? So I've, I've really enjoyed uh, connecting with others uh, that are using artificial intelligence in, in powerful ways, uh, including some of the work that's going around uh, on the Internet of Things, uh, where AI uh, can both be used for good, where we're using AI to, uh, to help make it, uh, IoT safer, uh, but at the same time a lot of uh, privacy concerns uh, around how uh, IoT is, uh, is unfolding at the moment. So. And that's been raised a lot, so how would you res what would be your wish list? Uh, so I, I, I think I've uh, met a lot of colleagues and I think we look forward to, uh, to collaborating in, in, in the years ahead um, on, on research to help uh, better protect people's privacy, not just their security. And that's obviously one of the big concerns of everyone right now, right? Exactly. Okay. Brian Whitten, Senior Director at Symmetic. Did I get that right? Symmetic? Exactly. Okay, thanks so much for your time. Thank you so much.